and welcome to 10x Farmstead. My name is Melissa and today we're going to be doing some tomato testing. Um, I only have a few varieties right now. Um, there's some other ones I have that aren't quite ready yet, but I've got some that are. And so I just wanted to kind of share with you today how these ones stand up to my taste and you know, maybe you'll like it better than I do. I don't know. So first off, I'm going to try this one that's closest to me. This is the White Beauty. I don't know. I was expecting it to be white, but it looks kind of pink, peachy. I Not white, is it? Looks kind of like your shirt. Yeah. Matches. Matches? Matches. And my, my clothes? Well, your clothes are pretty you want to try one, Annie? Yeah. I haven't got to try any of these ones yet. You can already kind of tell these ones are a little juicy. You want to try that one? It does seem it has mine on it. Mm-hmm. It's good. April, you want to try some? What do you think? I mean, it's not bad. Kind of a little mealy. It's not bad. <laughs> okay, next. You know, it just seems like there wasn't a whole lot of flavor in that tomato. Kind of bland. Next is the Berkeley's tie dye green, which. Yeah, that one's a juicy one. Did you see that one, Annie? Yeah. Oh, juiced all over. Yeah, we'll do a couple slice more slices. That way you can have one too, huh? <laughs> Alright, let me get a little salt. Wanna eat that one? Yeah. Look at this. That was juicy. April, you want one? No, this one has a lot better flavor, and I like mm -hmm. I like my tomatoes to have some juice to them too. Mhm. Mm Do you like that one? Mm -hmm. These ones are green with a little bit of red to them, so they're mostly green. And a lot of people, you know, when they see tomatoes like this, are like, well, "That tomato's not ripe yet," but. On these one, on these type of tomatoes, you just kind of have to check and see how they feel. They'll be nice and soft and and they taste really good. It tastes like tomato. Next, I think most people have eaten the uh, beef steak. I have eaten these before. Eh, they're not exactly my most favorite, but I mean, they do make really good sandwich tomatoes. I mean, they're juicy, but they're not overly juicy. That So like that last tomato I just ate would be really actually horrible for a tomato, or I mean a sandwich. I like this one. <laughs> It'd be not a very good sandwich not tomato because one. it'd make your bread really super soggy. Said, yeah, mommy. Yeah, this is a little more like the like these the white one. These ones, and this one, and this one. It doesn't have an, oh, any flavor like to me. These I mean. ones, mommy. And. It's not really that exciting to me. I might just can those. <laughs> okay. Now, looks like I'm missing a tomato here. This is my
This is a brandy wine, which looks pretty good. I've had some brandy wines before, but I don't know. they didn't excite me very much. That's such a big tomato. I didn't end up with the Abe Lincoln in here. I'm gonna have to run and grab it real quick. This one's really sweet. What do you think, April? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Kate? We haven't even tried it. I mean, it's pretty sweet, but still kind of lacking in some of the flavor I like. I'm gonna get this needs more salt. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Now this one is the uh, pineapple, and I might have gave my tomatoes a little too much water because I've got this splitting going on with my tomato. What's that? I figured this would be a perfect one to eat now, so that it doesn't look bad on me. Let me. I think I'm going to skip you on this one because you already have a tomato to eat still. Here, April. Another really juicy one. Babe? I want mean, like that one. Yeah. Wow, well, this one's very sweet. Is it too sweet for you, April? You kind of have a look on your face. It's sweet, but it doesn't really taste right. It doesn't taste right. Find that one. Find that one, mommy. It tastes a little different. Here. You like that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next up is Dad's Sunset. And slice it up here. It looks like it's pretty meaty. It's not too juicy. I think this might actually be a good sandwich tomato too. This one is juicy. Juicy. It's too juicy for sandwiches, but not too juicy for me just to eat it. I imagine you probably wouldn't be able to make too good of a salsa with that either. It would be mostly liquid. Want to try that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dead sunset. Dad's sunset had more color in it besides just yellow, but maybe it's just I'm forgetting. I have my stuff. You good? You got scratches on your arm? Yeah. No. And the tomato juice makes it burn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a good flavor. Yeah, I like it. Has a little bit of that mealy I like it too. texture to it. I think it would make a really good like, it's too juicy, sandwich. Mommy. Tomato. I like it. I like that All right. One. And this I like one. 
It wasn't cracked when I picked it, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that uh, when I stuck it in the basket, it got kind of squished a little. So, nothing really wrong with it. But this is barred boar, and it's a lot like the, uh, um, Berkeley's tie-dye green, except for it actually does ripen in the or turn red in the center and like the barred boar or the Berkeley's tie-dye green because it's still green. This one, it just has green stripes on it, which I thought was pretty neat. How often do you get to buy a tomato like this at the grocery store? Never. Never, huh? Another one? Yeah. Has pretty good flavor. Again, this one's a really, maybe if you get it before it gets too ripe like this one, it wouldn't be super duper juicy, but it has pretty good flavor. What do you think, April? It's okay. Not the best. This one, Cherokee Purple, has been my number one favorite tomato for the last several years. I would say maybe 10 years now. I haven't found one that tastes as good as this tomato here. I had some other specimens that were a little bigger than this one, but the uh, infamous vole had taken some bites off of it and I figured yeah I'm doing a video with them I don't want to use half-eaten tomatoes yep still as good as I remember Abe Lincoln's better. I don't know. We'll test that in a minute. A Lincoln coming up next. Oh. Now this one's good. Lincoln. You want the baby one? <sighs> Pretty juicy tomato. <laughs> this tomato has really good flavor. This, the Abe Lincoln, is sweeter than the purple Cherokee, but they have about the same, like, amount of flavor. Mm-hmm. So that's it for today. If you liked what you see, please hit the like button, and if you would like to see more, then subscribe to my channel. And sometimes I like to put some pictures and stuff on Instagram. You can come check out our Instagram account and you can see a little more of what's going on here um, on the 10X Farmstead. Take care now and God bless.